folks that were supporters of these other candidates will be looking for a new home. And I think one of the things that we can show them is what the positive alternative to the current administration is, right? It's not, America is not about the worst of what we've been, it's about the best of what we can be. And I think Andrew represents this young, positive, smart, diverse, uh, inspirational uh, success story. And to me, as a first generation American myself, uh, I find that very heartwarming. Um, what a message it would send at a time when we've heard such hateful rhetoric about immigrants. Uh, if we have the son of immigrants as our next president, I think that's an unbelievably powerful way that we say that that's, that's what America can be. That's the best of America. Woo. We're not great in spite of immigration. We are great because of immigration. And we express that in our support of Andrew Yang. That's one of the ways we express it. Uh, we may have a minute. We may, if he says that's it. Yeah, go please. Uh, I just I thought it would be worth it. Uh, my wife and I have been doing a lot of calling. Yes. And we found it a little, the, the slack and the call thing is not that hard to get through, although it's a little bit graphically awkward, but it's not hard to do. But we also found that it's a lot easier to do it with these um, call center headphones okay. with the mic in front. We've tried others with the mic over the headband and they don't work. Uh, these were 35 bucks, and uh, we're in it for the long haul. So anyone that is thinking of doing calls, we understand it's so effective. We've had great conversations with people in New Hampshire, Iowa, and Nevada. And so I would encourage you to make it easier, get your hands free, and um, invest in one of these. I got these on Amazon. They were Arama, and they're about as cheap as you can get, and they're extremely effective so well, that, that, and on. the phoning the virtual phone banks I mean we've got folks nationally that are calling into the early states it gives us tremendous scale and obviously we got a lot of folks here in New Hampshire before he gets here this will be kind of fun for uh, social media uh, on the count of three why don't you all tell me yang gang or something like that <laughs> right. yeah. one two three yang yeah. Yeah, I like that okay shame on me if I don't take advantage of <laughs> this any quick questions, thoughts, inspirational quotes, anything? <laughs> well, you brought an air conditioner, now's the moment to turn it on. candidates you think are going to be coming uh, coming in 2020 here in New Hampshire? Like, how many candidates will still be in the race by the time New Hampshire votes in February? Ten. Eight. Eight, eight to ten. Yeah. That's right. So how many New Hampshire voters do we need to finish in the top three, approximately? You're like, yeah, I didn't know it was going to be math. Right? <laughs> <laughs> That's what happens when you come to the end campaign. They can spring math on you in campaign. <laughs> So to, to 70,000, you probably win the whole thing. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. 70,000 is number one. So, like, the, the winner in a field this crowded and fragmented, it might be 70, it might be 60, it might be 50. Anything above, let's call it like 40,000, you're the top, uh, top three, top four. So every person you touch today helps push us toward that goal. Every person you wake up to the Andrew Yang campaign is going to help us make history next February. Really, you know, I, I tell the joke, but it's true. 
you know how many Californians each New Hampshire voter is worth? A thousand. <laughs> so anytime you get someone turned on to the ad campaign here in New Hampshire, you just think, I got a thousand Californians. <laughs> and then someone asks you how many people you touch today, you'd be like, I got 10,000 people. <laughs> Vote for Andrew Yang. And you'd be essentially correct. Because every New Hampshire voter is worth his or her weight in gold. And it's not just that voter, it's that voter's family, it's that voter's friends, it's that voter's neighbors, the voter's social media contacts. This, this is where we start the revolution. This room. Oh, look around you. These are the revolutionaries. This is what a revolution looks like in 2020. This is, uh, it, it's such a joy to be here with you. I went to high school here in the state, and coming back does feel like a homecoming. Some of you are very young, at the same age I, I was when I graduated from, from high school here. But the potential of this campaign, you just see it growing and growing all the time. And I, I'm seeing it. When I walk down the street, there's so much love now, in a way. I've been coming to New Hampshire every month for the last year plus. And, and like, when I first showed up, honestly, no one knew who the heck I was. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Andrew Yang. It's like, Andrew who? Running for what? Running for what? <laughs> uh, so the growth from then to now, it's staggering. And it's because of people like you who have championed this campaign from day one. We're early, early adopters. I can't thank you enough. So let's take it from the early adopter to the mainstream. Let's tell the rest of the country it's not left, it's not right, it's forward! so we can all get selfies, and I know that's probably a better use of our time. <laughs> Thank you all, it means so much, uh, and uh, you know, any time that you get something today, just think, 1,000 people. 1, people. Thank all you. Right.